Some dog breeds have more in their blood. Here is where owners find out just how much. Tim has been invited to Mamimijacht in Sweden. They train a thousand dogs a year here to hunt wild boar and somewhere within these fenced training grounds there's a boar for every occasion. Take a dog that's one year old, never met a wild boar before and if I put them in level four he will never hunt wild boar afterwards. For the youngsters and beginners there's Pontius, the pet pig. He's big enough but if this were an Indian restaurant he'd be a korma. However, once your dog is happy with Pontius, he or she will progress through four other stages, finishing with the fire-breathing, snorting fall. If they manage in here, they get their stripes, an officially recognised diploma. But don't assume every dog will eventually make the grade. It needs to be mentally strong. It's maybe one out of 25 who can be good, uh, really good. To take us through the process, we're being looked after by Lars's son, Michael. Michael runs the boar hound training side of this estate's business. There's a lot more here besides, but today we're focusing on the dogs. Plus, there's a chance of a high seat boar this evening. Come. So let's start at the beginning and Pontius. He's not keen to maybe get on to film, you know. Come. You see this size on the wild boy. Now he has, uh, you know, been eating, you know, he has how much food he wants to, but that's the size of uh, that we can train on. And he is 17 months old because he was born in January. There are some dogs in the training that is afraid of the wild boars, you know, when you go into the fence or when the, the clients go into the fence with the dog uh, and they see the wild boars, they get afraid. Then you go down to Pontus, then the client can stand outside the fence here with the dog. You can show the dog the wild boars so it gets used to see it, you know, because a lot of the dogs is afraid to see the wild one then they go away so you used this tame one to just look at it and he's really showing off today <laughs> <laughs> i never seen him like this there must be when you're filming him he's doing his best <laughs> it's all about really protecting the dog what you don't want to do is send a, a lovely dog into a, a level four and it gets beaten really hard dog loses interest in hunting so he's a careful progression through the different levels and uh, they start from level one, obviously, work their way up to level four. Look, it's bitten. That's bitten. That's that. no. Michael ups the ante a bit, and instead of the boar being held at bay or running away from the dogs, the hotter pigs start giving some back. Night. So you just walk in, and you just release the dog. Just yeah. release the dog and say right, and you just wait. To see, to see what happens. See what happens yeah. Normally, if you go, when we go in with a client, you go into the fence, you will walk up against the wind. You walk in the area for one round. You let the dog do the work because then you can see what the dog, what the dog is doing. But if the dog doesn't uh, work like you have think it is going to be working, then you have to help the dog and then you have to try to flush up the wild boar by itself. We're quite close to the to the boar, and the dog now needs in still his, his training is the support. He'll come and, and ah, are you here? And he goes back again. And what happens then? The attacks nearly come uh, immediately, and that's very normal. That the attack comes when the dog comes back to the owner, and it goes in again, and the attacks comes so the directly. Boar, so as soon as the dog. Goes back to back the boar. Back to boar. boar yeah, we'll attack. And then you will also get the chance, if it was in a real situation, you will have the chance to shoot. Mm. Because the dog is away and the, the, the boar is standing by itself. I really like him because he has a contact with me. Because we could have some good hunts together, this, uh, him and me, because I will always have a dog who is listening to me. 
and you get effectivity of it when you're hunting during the season. He's getting tired of it. I knew that it would happen because they're too aggressive for him uh, in his training. The Swedish love using dogs for hunting, whether it be wild boar, moose or bear. A dog is an essential part of hunting life here and the main reason Lars, a Dane, came here in the first place. However, not all the dogs attending the course will be used to actively hunting with their owners. It's becoming increasingly popular to be a registered follow-up handler and hound, tracking wounded animals. As the boar numbers rocket in Sweden, so does the need for professional handlers. Oh, speed is okay. Next time, Tim gets some expert tuition from Lars about driven it. game and, more importantly, charging game, as he prepares for hunting boars with hounds. For more information about dog training and the rest of the estate's facilities, go to mamimayaks.se. For the kit Tim uses, have a look at the links in the description below.